Hello and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 10 and here we will talk about how to do circuit design with vendor library components. Refer to the last tutorial where we did plenty of simulations and also you know learn how to add uh, vendor libraries into ADS environment. In this tutorial, we'll extend our learning and see how can we use uh, you know these Murata components to do our filter design, uh, which we were working on in past few tutorials. So first of all, I have this design one, which is basically the sub circuit where we have filter represented with ideal components. So I'll right click, select copy cell, and I will save this cell with a new name and let's call it underscore Murata to identify it clearly. Now, once we make a copy, you can see in the workspace tree, we have new design cell and all the views of the of the original cell is also copied here. It has its schematic and it has symbol. So you double click on the schematic cell to open it. And now these are the components which we need to convert uh, to Murata equivalent. So from the list of library we have, we can select Murata components. Now to simply search, I have already identified the component series I would like to use. Capacitors would be GJM03 and inductors would be of this series. So we'll go ahead and filter out. We can search these very simply by typing GJM03. And we'll go ahead and press Control R to place two capacitors. Um, we will assign the model and the, and the values subsequently as we go along. Right now, we'll just place it. And also for uh, inductors, we'll go ahead and follow uh, the filtering process again to go ahead and filter out the required you know, series. So we'll place three inductors. Now, simple thing we need to do is filter, figure out what value to assign because the value which we have in our optimized design may not be the right value because the discrete list is far more limiting compared to what we did from a typical optimization. So first inductor, we will need 41 nano Henry and we look at the series, the closest we can get is 39 nano Henry. And we can also look at the tolerance of the component. So we'll go ahead and pick 39. And for second inductor, we need 67 nano Henry. So we'll go ahead and again, look in the list and try to find value closer. So here we have 68 nano Henry. So we'll go ahead and pick. And the third one is 34. And let's see what value we do get near to 34 and that's 33. Again, with plus minus 5% tolerance. So all these components are done. So we'll go ahead and delete all the inductors and we can place these Murata components in place of those ideal inductors. And in ADS, we can also move the text. As you can see right now, text is a little jumbled up. So we can click on the component using this blue diamond. We can just shift the text wherever we need. So let me rearrange it slightly so that we can clearly read those text. Now, similarly for this capacitor, we need 22 and 24 picofarad. So we'll go ahead and delete those capacitors. And from the list, we can scroll down to nearest possible value of 22 uh, picofarad. And here we have 22 with plus minus 5% tolerance. And similarly for this capacitor where we need a 24, we can scroll down and look for 24 picofarad. Usually capacitors, we have wider choice available compared to inductors, so it's kind of easier to find the right component. So we'll go ahead and assemble it. And again, to move the text, we can use this, you know, diamond, blue diamond on the component. So now we have the full circuit represented by Murata equivalent components. We can go back to our main test page and we can disable the existing sub circuit. From the main workspace window, we look at Murata and we can just drag and drop the Murata subcell here. And we can just wire it up in the same test bench. Now, using the same test bench, uh, we would simulate it and we already have a result here for the ideal component. So we'll go ahead and go to history and switch on the history so that this trace gets freezed on the, on the plot. Now we'll go ahead and read on the simulation and notice you'll get an error and I deliberately made this error to, to let you know, depending on the PDK, you might need to place a technology include file because what you see on the screen is just the symbol and this necklace include actually contains the real model of the components. 
So once we place this netlet include either on the top level design or inside a sub design, when we run simulation, it will go ahead and smoothly perform the simulation. Now here you can see the solid trace or the thicker trace is with the Murata components. And we have the earlier ideal trace and you can see some sort of difference between ideal and the Murata components. Well, that's your five minutes in learning how to use vendor library components in ADS for your design work. In next couple of videos, we will learn more about vendor library components and how to resolve this error and how to perform optimization using vendor library components. Thanks for watching the video and look forward to see you during the next video.